Faster trains? Faster trains. Yeah. Between Manchester, Leeds and London? Manchester, Leeds and London. Yes. That is, you're going the long way round, aren't you? Well, you know. <laughs> they can't get the one that they're doing now on time, so are they going to make it an hour and six if they can't do it in two hours from Manchester? To London. I'm quite happy with two hours to Manchester. I think you need a little bit of time to prepare yourself for going up north. <laughs> yeah. I, d I don't like this fast train because I, I don't like being early. <laughs> Is that... I, I'm gonna, you know, because it, it takes an hour, you're gonna be early, you're just gonna be hanging about. <laughs> Get a slow one, keep warm. <laughs> I don't think you will be early because uh, it's not going to be built for 20 years. Yeah. 2033, isn't mm. it? Yes, it's going to be finished in 2033. I thought we'd be teleporting by then. I've got my jetpacks, I don't want to be alive, let alone clinging on for life in a super fast buffet car, like. <laughs> They're saying it's for like, European business people, though, that are coming over, but surely if you've had like, a flight from Moscow, you're not going to land and then go, how much to Manchester? Two hours? F me, I'll go back. <laughs> <laughs> where, where, where's he going back to? <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really going to go 260 miles an hour? Yeah, that's what well, they're then, saying. It's a shame because you're not going to be able to stick your head out the window anymore. Right? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be too dangerous. I used to love doing that. <laughs> I did it all the way from Cardiff to Bangor once. God knows how many insects I ate, but I was. <laughs> <laughs> Too Pretty fast, bad. isn't it? Too, too, too fast. fast. You'll have to change train impressions for kids. Like, it can't go... <laughs> it won't do that, will it? It'll just go... <laughs> <laughs> that won't be as good. <laughs> it wasn't that long ago that they, they binned Concorde, which was really quick getting to the States because it cost too much money. But now they've decided to spend 30 billion just go to Manchester. Are you saying we should get Concords to Manchester? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm, in, I'm billion, in a, yeah. Well, for that kind of money, I mean, there's, there's other things we could spend that money on, aren't there? I mean, it's a, it's a huge amount. Yeah, we could have a free bar on the train <laughs> we did. for 20 years. <laughs> Instead of building a train line, why don't they have that thing in supermarkets where they send the money down a tube? <laughs> that thing where the money pops up in a tube. That's so quick. Why don't they just build one of those? <laughs> Yeah, thing in those things in supermarkets, those things, they come up in a tube and it's like a plastic thing and they open it and they put all the money in and then it goes, goes and then it appears somewhere else. <laughs> so they, they put the money in, they screw it, and then they pop in a tube, Doof. it's gone. <laughs> Literally seconds, and then it, you can hear somebody in the distance going, oh! <laughs> Why not a massive one of those? <laughs> Shoot people out of cannons. <laughs> I don't mean that's practical, Joe. <laughs> not all right, not one then, three. Three cannons. One to Totten, then change. Again, another cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Leeds. It's like a 20 minute wait there. And then get another cannon. And then another cannon there. You can see that if there's a problem, like a cannon replacement service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> OK, let's see if the new high-speed rail line is one of the most talked-about things this week. <laughs> yes, the most talked-about thing. The government have unveiled plans for a new high-speed rail line. It said it will cost £32.7 billion, or £35 billion if you get a return. <laughs> John, Rachel, Chris, what else will the nation be talking about this week? Super Mario's off. Super Mario's off. Stinks. So this is Mario Balotelli and he's... Go on, tell me the story. He's off. He's, uh, he was a troublemaker at City. Um, he had a bit of a rock with Mancini a little while ago and he's off to AC Milan. Mm. I don't think he's that bad, really. I think the rest of the footballers are weird. I don't think he's the weirdo. If you're a 22-year-old millionaire, why aren't they all acting like him? <laughs> yeah. That's, he's, he's the normal yeah. one. The rest of them going, oh, yeah, it was good, yeah, yeah, bought, bought a new pencil case today, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'd be doing. I'd be going mental. I'd have a cape. I'd wear a cape constantly. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. I'd go crazy. You can afford a cape. Yeah, but I can't afford <laughs> <pull> it. <up. laughs> Why do you think that capes are incredibly expensive? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're on telly quite a lot, Chris. You could get a car. I'll buy you a cape. <laughs> That's why I came. <laughs> He does some strange things. Mario's mum once sent him to John Lewis to pick up an ironing board. He came back with a scale trick, a quad bike and a trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like Tom Hanks in Big. <laughs> he's amazing. He, um, this is great. Uh, days after signing to City, uh, Balotelli crashed his car on the way to training and when the police asked him why he had £5,000 in cash on him, he replied, 
because I'm rich. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, he's, he's a lunatic. If he wasn't a professional footballer, he'd just be in the park shouting at ducks. <laughs> It'd be nice for you to have some company. Yeah. <laughs> He's just said to all his friends, hasn't he? Now he's left. Go to my home and take what you want. So he said, I'm going away to, to Milan, so I want you to just take, take everything, take except my pants. <laughs> yeah, except my undies, that's yeah, right. Yeah, he said, don't I'm, take my pants, I'm but the take opposite. everything else. When I have friends over, I insist <laughs> they take a pair with them. <laughs> <laughs> so Balotelli's um, girlfriend has said that she'll come and visit him in Milan, because she, she said that Manchester was too remote. <laughs> She'll change her mind when that new train track's built, Jimmy. All, <laughs> all the supermodels are crawling back when they can get to Toten in the Midlands. <laughs> Coming back with their knickers round their ankles. <laughs> that, Tiny phrase, that phrase, though? You'll be back with your knickers round... Is that, is that between your legs? <laughs> that is definitely not a phrase. Is it not teal between yeah. your legs? I think it's... In, I think... <laughs> John, I yeah. think it sounds Just... better in the original Latin. <laughs> <laughs> Quest testos retonos, but it is. An inscription yeah, above I a church. That. You'll, be back. <laughs> You'll be back with your knickers round your ankles. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's exciting, though, isn't it? Football, transfer deadline day. Because that happens in comedy as well. I got a last minute bid from loose women today, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> failed the medical. <laughs> Deadline day for me. I've got I've got some chicken in my fridge. I goes out to date tomorrow. <laughs> QPR will have it. They bought everything else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a real one for the aficionados. Well done, man. Uh, that is you, men who've been clicking refresh on BBC Sport all day. They got that job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, there's another big transfer story. Beckham. He's not going to Arsenal. That... Let's list the clubs he's not going to. <laughs> <laughs> he's not going to Preston. Is he not going to Preston? <laughs> I know where he's going. Well, would you know where, where's he going? He's going to Paris. Yes, the incredible thing about this so is he's, he's David Beckham has signed for Paris Saint-Germain uh, and he's donating his entire £150,000 a week salary to a children's charity. To be Sir David Beckham. Is that's that what bad? It's about. It's a, a children's, evil. A children's charity. In my book, that's evil. <laughs> that's wrong. Wrong. It's wrong. wrong. It should be stopped now. <laughs> Stop him with his evil, conniving, giving money, all his wages to charity schemes. What the f is he playing? <laughs> Don't pretend that there's not a bigger agenda here. Say that. Exactly. That's something. He, he, obviously, he was obviously pissed when he said it. <laughs> Beckham apparently is going to move into this ma mansion and uh, it's, it's got a panic room, otherwise known as the library. <laughs> <laughs> uh, should we have a look and see whether the transfer window is one of the most talked about things this week? Yep. Yes, it was transfer deadline day yesterday. Manchester City striker Mario Balotelli has moved to AC Milan. David Beckham has signed for French club PSG. If you're watching, David, be careful what you eat in France. They recently found some beef DNA in their horse burgers. 